Hey Jeff, John Eric here. I just wanted to show you quickly how to take care of this brick in and out of the box, stuff like that. So first of all, your uh, box has a piece of foam here, which removes very easily. Just peel that foam out and there's a pair of gloves back there. Please put those on before you handle it. I know you're giving this as a gift. If you need a second set of gloves, let me know. Um, that's one. Number two, a super soft towel that we use to polish. Um, this will not scratch the aluminum. It's a very, very high quality towel. It's just like the ones we use for polishing. This white foam, it'll be wrapped in this. This will not scratch the aluminum either. In the bottom of the box, under this foam, is your tool, which I'm not gonna remove from the plastic. Uh, this thing's beautiful mirror finish. I'll show you with my shop tool, what to do with it. But you'll find the tool under here, the gloves under here. This piece of foam slides in, just like that. The towel can be stored in the bottom. Um, when you've got it out, uh, this is pretty strong, but I wouldn't count on lifting it like this. I kind of do it carefully, like this kind of thing. Um, once you get it out, actually, let me just drop it in real quick and show you. If you don't have big hands, use two. If you do, you can use one. That seems like it's way too big. It will compress down with the foam and fit perfectly. Also, we set this in here, we center it. That way, if it shifts, which it shouldn't shift, this thing is really, really tight in here. So when you get it, it'll look like this. Pop it out, lean it to one side, lift it up. Keep it on the the foam, when you're, I'm sure you're going to load it with cash before you give it away. Just turn it over. Get your tool out. Of course, get your gloves out as well. This is really, really simple. We don't get these bolts very tight because if you mash it together, and you've got a little tiny anything, even a piece of dust in between the top and the bottom. Uh, it will uh, it'll, it'll scratch it so Just loosen those bolts if there's no money in it, it, it whether there's money or not These are kind of hard to get out. We don't make these extra long. You can get them out this way Easiest way is just lift it up Set it down the bolts will stick out a little bit more that way These bolts are very very hard. This is very soft. So do not drop a bolt on top of this it goes one way where it says the brick here and 100k here that's the way it goes on so it says 100k here the brick here brick brick set down like that easiest way to do this if you have big hands you can do it like me or if you don't you can use two hands it's entirely up to you how you do it i like to use one hand it's very slippery with these gloves so there's an alignment sleeve here and here those will recess into these holes. So hold it however is easier for you. Get it lined up. Set it down, it will lock in perfectly. Turn it over carefully. The lid is loose now, it won't just fall off, but if it separates a little bit, it'll slide off and you'll scratch it. Don't scratch it. I'm sure you saw the other video, but we made just some pretty hot bolts. Rubber feet, so wherever your brother's gonna set this, it won't scratch the table or whatever. When I tighten these down, I don't use the leverage side and get it really, really tight because it's unnecessary and it will not come loose in shipping or anything like that. So that's as tight as I get it. Put it back in the plastic, or the foam, excuse me. Get your box. So nice and gentle. Make sure that the brick is centered in the foam. You don't want to take a chance of scraping on this. This plastic is pretty hard, so it could scratch it. I've never had that happen, but I guess it could happen. Drop it over. Now this isn't going to want to go down, so give the brick a little push. Put some pressure on it. Just lift this up. I've got a lot of pressure. Clip it like that. That's it. It's 
undo it, it's gonna have a lot of pressure on it so it won't just lift off. You'll have to keep pressure to get it open. Clip it down, clip the other side down, and your brick is packed. You could drop this, this off of a building. Uh, actually, if you drop off a building, it might break. Uh, but these are fantastic boxes. Um, I'm not a spokesperson for Nanook cases. They're made in Canada. Best ones I've found by far. Uh, nothing against Pelican. My experience is this is looks like a by far superior product. So we ship all of our bricks in these. So enjoy your brick. Please send me a video and some pictures when you give it to your brother. That's always a thrill for me to see where my stuff winds up. Take care, brother. We'll see you soon.